going, boy. And about. Come on, girl. Oh, there is X. X. So we're out here today. These pups are 12 weeks old. Mon is about five months old. Just taking a break here. We've been hiking out here. It's a good spot for them to uh, exercise and do their training and off leash. <laughs> this is XR right here, beautiful female. This a uh, these three and Annabelle are uh, daughters of Jaeger and Kalia. This is Annabelle. And this is. Uh, the other two are Bowen and Magnus, they're daughters of Kai. Mon is a daughter of Dakota, or son of Dakota. Uh, Mon and Ma uh, Bowen and Magnus are sons of Kai. Bowen, where are you? Oh, he's right, maybe right here. Or right there, he's right there. Don't wreck my backpack, you guys. Don't wreck my backpack. Don't wreck my backpack. It's already wrecked. It's already wrecked. Here it is. Don't buy too much you really want to keep. Round pups. I could hang it up, but keeps them kind of busy. So it's a pretty good group of pups. This group, I'm really happy with them. The instincts are really good. Their trainings come right along. So, I don't think so. I don't think so. Come on, come on up in the photo. So at 12 weeks, I should be able to hike pretty easy. They focus a fair bit on the commands, but they're relying primarily on instincts yet. And the instincts are good. These guys have some great... Uh, instinctive genetics so I don't worry too much. They follow what I'm doing, check and stick around. Come here you guys. Come on. Hey, Axa, come on up here. Annabelle, where'd you go? Maybe she's right there. Who's down here? Bowen? Oh, that's Bowen right there. <clears throat> Bowen and Magnus. These are fourth generation dogs for me. So, their grandfa great grandfather's down in the yard. I've been hiking with him for a decade. And I sat with their grandmother when she was born. I sat with their mother when she was born.
Lonnie's checking out some scent over there. He's got one of the big boys with him. Lon's a pretty good mountain dog. He's only five months old though. Magnus, you stay here. Bowen, Magnus, come on. By me. Bowen, Magnus, stick her up. Bowen, Magnus, come on. Stick in the pitcher here. Right in the pitcher here, buddy. Come on, come on up here. Now, lots of the times when you're training pups, you got to have some patience, serious patience, because... Uh, they don't follow the commands immediate. You've got to use a bit of repetition. So sometimes with young dogs, you'll command more than you ever would with an older dog, of course, just to make sure that they're going to keep following through. I've got one down over there somewhere, one that way. He's with Mon, that other guy, so I'm not too worried about that one. We got a lot of game around right now. Bears are out. Deer are moving. The moose are moving. Everything's moving. When it comes to hiking dogs, this this lineage is about as good as you can get. They're real good lineage hiking dog. Magnus, come up here. Magnus. Magnus, come on, boy. <clears throat> Gifford. Gifford's a real nice dog. He's a real good dog. Oh, yeah, Annabelle's a beautiful female. Come on, Magnus. Come up here, boy. Good, you guys. Hey, Hexa, get up here. Come on, girls, get up here. Hexa, come on, pasa. Good, you guys. Good, good, good. You guys are doing good. 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 Magnus, come on, boy. Come on, come here. Now you should be able to relax out in the trail. Your dog should settle in where you're at, hang around. You want to be able to have your dogs around you when you stop camping and stuff. You want to be able to sit down, have a coffee. <coughs> they like to range a little bit, but <coughs> they should they should be around. Now by 16 weeks, these guys will be real rock solid off leash. They've had some on leash training too. I don't focus much on that. That's pretty easy to do. A couple hours, you got that figured. 
but off leash is where people run into a snag because you don't really know how to do it. So we set the pups up. I mean, uh, these guys could literally go to the owners now. They're, they're pretty good. This is a real good, strong, instinctive bunch. Gifford, come boy. Gifford, come. Next up, good. Gifford, come up by me. Good boy. Good boy. Good. You guys just stay down. Good, you guys. Good, Annabelle, mm -hmm. just sit down. Mon! Mon might have found a moose or something. He'll bark if he does. Hey, settle down. When these guys find something, they'll bark. But they won't bark unless you're in front of it, pretty much. They hunt silent. So if you see all their heads go up, the wind's blowing this way. If there are all their heads go up, probably a, some game passing down below us here. You could hike straight down to Washington. There's nothing between us and Washington. You could literally go straight north to the tundra. Uh, you can go right to the coast this way, and you can go to the Rockies, right to the foothills of Alberta this way. There's really nothing but this all the way in both, all directions. My land ends back there. We're sitting, we border crown land so we can hike for quite a, just literally miles and miles. Try not to wreck that there, uh, Gifford. Come on, boy. Don't wreck my thing. Come on, boy. Mm -hmm. Don't wreck that. Good, good. You guys just quit wrecking stuff. Good. Good. Come on, boys. Good girl, Annabelle. Good girl. Good, you guys. You guys are really good. Very good. Come on. Kind of wanted them on in the video too. No, boys. Find me. Ruka, come here, boy. Ruka, Ruka, come here, boy. Ruka, come here. Ruka, come up by me. Yeah, pretty good bunch, this bunch. In the world of hiking dogs, uh, these are probably as good as a guy I'll ever come across. I'm pretty impressed with all these. Of course, I've hiked with all the parents, lots, and hiked with generations of ancestors of these guys, of course. Hiked with all these guys before they were born in the valley of their mothers. Bowen and Magnus are out of Kai. Kai and Hachi. Kai is a daughter of Torah. Torah I raised. Torah is a daughter of Dakota. So what you see with these two boys is the female side of the genetic equation. With these pups here, it's the Jaeger line down, which is the brother to Torah. So that's the male side of our genetic line coming down. The old world principle, sometimes the female line will bring just slightly different aspects of the genetics forward so you usually want to try and keep both it's a lot of work it's a lot more dogs but you end up with both sides of the genetic equation so you have your top pair and you can work down from a son or you can work down from a daughter 
and so we do both. We got Jaeger and Tora, Tora and Jaeger. Um, this is Jaeger's pup. That's Tora's grandson. So what we did is we, that little guy there, we kept Tora's daughter named Kai, and this is fourth generation then. In the world of elkhounds, there's, uh, there's very few dogs of this caliber. Now, this is a magnificent dog. You could hunt all over the world to get dogs like this, and they're just sitting right here. The old ancient Canadian genetics are really good. Now, we got Norway lines in here, and we got We've got some uh, American lines, there's uh, some UK uh, dogs following back, uh, maybe not in these guys, actually it's in, uh, it's in Mon. But all of it traces back to the big old Swedish dogs, and then of course, uh, Kalia's dad's a big Swedish dog. So you get a very good, dark, fast-moving hunting dog with full instincts intact. And these are working dogs. They've been working for generations. Um, lots of hunting champions in the background of these guys. Come on. Come on up here, boy. He's probably sound asleep over the hill. Come boys, Hexa, Annabelle, come by me, Gifford, come on, come up here, come by me, yeah, good girls, come on, come up here, Hexa, come by me, Hexa, come here, you're just sitting playing right there, Grass just like this. Well, that's pretty good video, you guys. It's a pretty good video. That's some good times. Let's go see if we can find your buddy there, Mon. Yeah, that's pretty close to perfect. A little bit of an angle. Maybe I'll just walk up and see where Mon is and maybe bring him back in. Mon! Come on. Come on, buddy. He's sleeping over there. Come on in the video, buddy. Good boy. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Come on, guys. Come in the video. Come here. Good boy, Mom. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Come in the video, boys. Where have you been hiding at, Mom? Where have you been hiding? What a good boy. What a good boy. Let's get the fuck here. Hey, don't push that camera over you guys. Don't be on that, boys. X up. Bone. Mon is the son of Dakota. Dakota is the great grandfather of this guy. He's the grandfather of the other pups. And the son and father of this dog. Mon's mother is Tekla. Tekla I raised, raised her mother. I got, I got uh, Tekla and Tuba are the twins that I have at home. Tekla and Tuba are half sisters to Kai, which is the mother of Bowen and Magnus. So the mother of Mon is a half sister to the mother of that guy. 
this guy's father is the great grandfather. So the reason they all kind of look the same, act the same, have the same instincts is we run a very nice uh, organized breeding program with no inbreeding, no line breeding, but we use the genetics that we have very carefully. And so all the dogs are very, very predictable. The behaviors are predictable. And uh, it makes for a much better dog. When you go to get a dog, you might as well get a good dog. You're going to spend all that time training it and working with it and having it for 10, 12, 14 years. There's no sense getting a poor dog. That don't make any sense. Go ahead and get a good dog. I mean, you could look the world over for a dog like mine. Um, this, this is magnificent. Both these two right here, Anbar and Mon, are just phenomenal dogs. So if you don't put the time in, put it into a good dog. That's, that's the way I think anyway. And the reason we want to raise these dogs is we like to preserve the working lineage. We're the only guy left raising the working lines. So we're trying to preserve that breed. That's why our dogs look a little bigger, a little darker. Um, we don't show dogs. We don't go to the shows or anything. But we work our dogs every day. We're out in the bush all the time. And so we, we thought, why not share these? genetics while we're preserving it with families that want to use the dog in the way it was designed, the way it's been for four or five thousand years. They're a good hunting dog, but they're, I mean, you're only hunting for a few days out of the year. The rest of the time you're hiking. So, it makes sense. Hey, boys. Come. Bowen. Exa. Annabelle. Come by me. Right here. Right here. Hey. Come on, you guys. Well, that's a pretty good video, buddy. Good boy. Let's get these guys and get hiking. All right.